Amen, amen, amen. We got a good, beautiful word. That word is coming out of Acts 13, 6 and 10. And let us understand, in this word, we're going to see that there is many alignments today. Alignments was a false prophet who was a Jew whose name was bar Jesus. That's why it's important for us to get the correct Jesus. Jesus said in John 7 at 38, he who believe on me as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. When we get in the story right here, we're going to see there was a deputy in the island of Papoos whose name was Sergius Pilate, who called for Barnabas and Paul to hear the gospel. Before Paul and Barnabas got down there to deliver the gospel unto him, he was intercepted by a man that by interpretation was named Alimus, who was a false prophet. Now, there are many false prophets out here. That's why we're calling them Alimuses, because they're seeking to turn people who are looking for the word away from the faith, the correct faith that should be delivered unto the saints. Hallelujah. So right here at Acts 13, 6 and 10, let us get in here. And when they had gone through the Isle of Paphos, talking about the Apostle Paul and Barnabas, they found a sword and sorcerer, a false prophet, who's a Jew, whose name was bar Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Pilate, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. So we see the deputy, Sergius Pilate, was a prudent man. He desired to hear the word. But guess who got in the way? A false prophet who goes by the interpretation of Elimus. But Elimus, the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. All of these people out here have been bewitched, and they are being used by a wicked spirit. Sorcery is what it is to get in the way of what God is doing. We got to be careful. Then Paul, who also is called, then Saul, who is also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on them and said, Of all full of subtility and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? So we see people are coming with craftiness and it's subtle. Hallelujah. People are coming desiring to hear a word, but these people are turning them away from the living word because they have not been called according to God's purpose and plan. They are fleshly people who have not been delivered the Holy Ghost so they can go out and teach these words, which are spirit and life, to people and give them the correct doctrine. Amen. This is a beautiful word right here. There are a lot of alignments out there. Be careful. The Lord let us know, get to know him first, then everything else will be added on to you. Hallelujah. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus.